Ukraine as a big frontier, as, as a big borderland, borderland between nomadic cultures and settled cultures, borderland between Europe and Asia, between the forest and the steppe. This image of the borderland is very important for Ukrainian, current Ukrainian historians and philosophers, and it comes from the very name Ukraine, which also means a big frontier or borderland, although Ukraine also comes from, from the word kraj, which means a country or a motherland. But it's interesting how this metaphor digs very deep into the past. For example, you can find it in Polish poet Adam Mickiewicz, who in his lectures about the history of Slavic people, which he reads in Paris in mid uh, 19th century, he calls Ukraine an eternal battlefield between East and West, an eternal battlefield between Europe and Asia. You can see how this uh, estimation of Ukraine goes into the 20th century when Ukraine indeed be became a battlefield and from the image of this borderland turned into the bloodland to use the famous concept of Timothy Snyder from his book Bloodlands. So this metaphor is important uh, both in the way how it describes Ukraine peculiarity but also in the way how it describes the traumas, the tragedies which were brought in from this you know, turning the borderland into the bloodlands. But I was surprised recently when I, when I saw this metaphor of a borderland and a big step of uh, freedom-loving people for, in an interview from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. And it's interesting that he comes from this steppe land, from uh, Krivirich, from the Dnipropetrovsk Oblast. Uh, so now the industrial region, but this industrial region whom we probably tend to think that probably lost this sense of Ukrainian identity, or at least it is not that important than, in, for example, in Western Ukraine, we see how it, 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 is, it is born again, probably. And this metaphor that we are people of the steppe, we are the, the heirs of the Cossacks, and earlier probably of the nomadic tribes who were in this, you know, in these big uh, Eurasian steppes, uh, which covers one third probably of Ukrainian territory, it's very interesting to see how this image of this borderland, it is probably something that unites Ukrainians regardless of the fact whether they are from, come from Eastern Ukraine, from Central Ukraine or from, uh, from Western Ukraine. And I think there is another aspect, very interesting aspect, how it combines the nomadic culture and the settled culture, because Ukrainians are very much in love with this settled agricultural uh, environment, you know, saying that, well, this is our land, we were never an empire, we were never trying to conquer anybody. But at the same time, this spirit of the nomadic tribes, of the thousand years, of multi-thousand years history of the nomadic tribes in the steppes uh, um, near the Azov Sea or the Black Sea, and of course the history of Ukrainian Cossacks, the warriors of this borderland, I think this is also something that creates this very interesting image of Ukrainian uh, historical memory and historical uh, historical self-identification. This combination of a settled culture, which is kind of a traditional, but also nomadic culture, which erases the borders and seeks the mixture of many things. And indeed, in Ukrainian, current Ukrainian identity, of course, you can find Ukrainian speakers, Russian speakers, you can find Crimean Tatars, you can find Jews, you can find Romanian speakers, Hungarian speakers. But it's also very interesting, for example, to find a Turkic element, because the Cossack culture comes comes from this Turkic element. So Ukraine as a borderland and as a big frontier, well, there is a lot of tragic sides of this metaphor in Ukrainian history, but there are also lots of opportunities to develop. And this is Ukraine in 5 Minutes by Ukraine, uh, ukraineworld.org. My name is Volodymyr Yermolko. I'm a chief editor of ukraineworld.org. I hope with these short videos we're trying to uh, make Ukraine better understood.